just because you're labeled as a sugar baby. Mm-hmm. A sugar baby is a younger girl mm-hmm. who has relations don't mm-hmm. necessarily got to be sexual with an older man mm-hmm. he caters to her mm-hmm. she caters to him mm-hmm. don't have to be sexual at all second time you said that all right. <laughs> just saying all right. just saying yeah. <laughs> disclaimer yeah 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 <laughs> What it do, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your Day by Day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y, do not ask why, and today I have a great one for y'all. Why? Because we are joined by a great vibe in itself, recording artist, the one and only Passion. What it do? What's up? What's up, Day? What's good? And first off, it's Passion with three S's, right? Three S's, yes. Okay, Okay, where did that come from? Submissive, sexy, and strong. Oh. Yes. I fuck with it. Thank you. Okay, I like that. Submissive, sexy, and strong. We're going to come back to that. But first, just so that, uh, or before we officially get started, what I'd like to do is shout out to the live audience. Shout out to everybody that's joining us behind the scenes. Shout out to JD. He's the reason this is even happening, first and foremost. And then shout out to the most important part of this show, Desi Des. She's over there getting her bed together, but she's behind the scenes as well. Y'all going to see her in the next 10 to 15 minutes pop up on the screen. All right, so no, back to you, Passion. Let's start by this. Let's um, get the day party. Shout out to the day party. Let's get them a little familiar with you. So go ahead and tell myself and the day party a little bit about yourself. All right, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Passion, with three S's. I am from the DMV area, mm. D.C., mm. Um, but I was living in PG County, Maryland. So then I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. I was about seven, eight years old. And then I've been here ever since. Then I became Passion. Okay. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your music. What are some projects and records that you have had released lately and you look forward to releasing in the near future? Um, well, I already have some records out right now. Um, the the top one will have to be Jeep Girl. Over 600 views and videos on um, TikTok. So you're saying 600 videos made on TikTok? Mm-hmm. Over 600. Over 600. Are mm-hmm. you active on TikTok? Yeah, I try to be. Yeah, right. So yeah. which which platform are you more active on? Um, I would definitely have to say Instagram. Yeah. I'm more active on Instagram. So which do you okay, you're more active on Instagram, but between TikTok and Instagram, what do you see more success on? I say, yeah, I say TikTok though. Like TikTok, yeah. yeah. Because you really can like just show your personality on there. I mean you can on Instagram too, but mm-hmm. I feel like you can be more creative mm-hmm. on TikTok. And I think Instagram, Instagram been weird lately, bro. Like, I don't know. It's just been weird. The algorithm been weird lately. Like, shit don't really pop like it used to. You got to mm-hmm. do a whole bunch of extra jump through hula hoops to get it to where it used to be. I don't know what's weird. But yeah. for me, I feel the same. It's crazy because TikTok, I give my least attention to. But I, my videos on TikTok be doing numbers. Right. So I'm like, damn, do I need to shift my attention? Because Instagram can take a lot of your energy. Yeah. Like, you'll just catch yourself scrolling like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, I'll be on there for hours. I'm like, damn. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, just so interesting. Like, yeah. everybody just posting their live story times. Them story times be getting to me, though. The stories? Like, yes. Are you a story scroller? I am. Yeah. I, yes, I yeah. love them story times. Okay, so let me ask you something since we're talking about stories on Instagram. Okay. Two questions. The first of which is, say you find a dude attractive. Mm-hmm. And his story on Instagram. How do you let him know that you like that story? Do you just like it or do you leave a reaction like with an emoji as well? All right, so I'm gonna like it first. Okay. Go back in like an hour or two, then I'm gonna comment, then go back, then I'm gonna follow, then go back, then I'm gonna like a couple more videos. Oh, so you shooting from I, yeah. you shooting from the three? Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. Yeah. you're not subtle at all. Oh no. So you say you're gonna like it, go back. Wait, you said follow. So you be so you ain't even follow him yet. No, I don't follow him yet. Okay. Yeah. So you like, comment on it. Mm-hmm. What type of comment you leaving? It depends on the video. Like I'll probably honestly I'll probably do like a little emoji, emoji mm-hmm. or two. That's all it takes. Yep, that's it. That's all it takes. Really, the like is like the... Right. Like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, she see it. Yeah, 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 I know she (laughs) see it. Then you follow up with the follow and the comment. All right, how often do you shoot your shot? Honestly, just whenever I feel like I want to. Like, it's not really like a set time. Mm. If I'm like, ooh, damn, he probably like vibing with me. I could vibe with him. Mm -hmm. I'll shoot my shot. All right. So your song, Jeep Girl, is hot. 
It's hot in these streets. Definitely. What, how long have you been a Jeep girl? Well, my Jeep is actually in Atlanta right now. I keep it in Atlanta for when I go out there. But um, I've had that for like two, three years. Mm -hmm. That seems to be hot now. Yeah. Wrangler Jeep? Rubicon. Rubicon? I'm a Rubicon freak. Rubicon? I don't even know what that is. What's Rubicon? Can I look it up? Look it up. Yeah. See for yourself. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm a little behind. I don't. Let's see. Let's see what Rubicon is. So as I typed in Rubicon, Ruby Rose came up. Have you seen a clip of her and Drewski? Yes. You think I it's have. real or no? What do you think? Um, honestly, like they cute. They cute. They cute. They cute. I would hope it's real because they are a cute couple. What you makes know? them a cute couple? They both are good looking, and I could definitely see the vibe. You know, they. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm I'm 100 <laughs> a heterosexual man. I love woman. I love coochie. That shit is <laughs> worth the chase every 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 bit. But you said Drewski, Drewski is an attractive man. I think he is. Yeah. Okay. To be a big a big nigga, uh -huh. I think yeah. All right. Hey. I think he's very good looking. What's the pig name from Looney Tunes? The uh, that's that stutters. Is, is it the mm. pig that stutters? Drewski, look, Drewski look like that nigga to me, and Desi agrees because she's old, she she agrees. Hey, calm down. Hey, go over there and sit down. Anyway, like I was saying, okay, so you say they're a cute couple. All yeah. right, well, we'll agree to disagree on that. Do you think it's real? Do I think it's real? Mm -hmm. People do anything for clout. Yeah, honestly. They kissed. Um, they kissed they, in the video. They, it looked forced as fuck, but they kissed. I'm not going to lie. It did look forced. It looked it very did. forced. It looked very forced. Looked very, very much forced. forced. Um, I don't think it was forced on his part. I don't think so. I don't think so. He wanted to. I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, I don't know. I, they said a lot of people was like, when he kissed her, they was like, hey, stupid, you realize you just kissed everything in the party from Don't Be a Menace. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know how she gets down. I don't know right. her like... I don't really know a lot about her. I don't yeah. even know how or why she's famous, but a lot of people say she gets around. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, people say that. But it looked like, I don't know, it looked it looked fake. It looked staged. Because when they first had the video of them hugging, people was like, oh, nah, it ain't real until they kissed. And then they finally kissed and it was like, eh. Yeah. That looked like because the camera was on. You know what I mean? Right. Well, um, Passion, <clears throat> as the, I consider myself a professional at this point, as mm -hmm. the professional podcaster that I am, I have to do research on any guests that I have. Okay. So it's two songs, two records that you have in particular that I want to talk about. First and foremost, let's start here. It didn't take me long at all to find my favorite song by you. What was your favorite song? Because you spoke about my favorite drink. <laughs> oh, you talking about Henny. Henny. I got that Henny in my system. Come on, Alex. When a Henny in the system. <laughs> okay. So I dissected a few. I, I really listened to what you were saying, and it, and it sounds like the type of time that Henny would put one on. So I have a few questions for you. Well, first and foremost, do you really drink Henny? Because a lot of women, like, it's rare to find a woman that's really an advocate for Henny. Do you really drink Henny? I really drink Henny. That Henny with pineapple juice hit different. I don't think I've ever had that. That's good? Very good. Okay. I definitely recommend it. You should try it. All right, Henny with pineapple. I will. Yeah. Okay, so you do really drink Henny? Yes, I really do. Okay. Can we prove it? Yes. Can we take a shot at Henny? Take, let's take a shot. Fuck it. We on day by day. Let's take a fucking shot. <laughs> we is not playing. At all. I'm going to get sponsored by Henny at this point, guys. Definitely. So do you pick Henny over tequila? Because mm. that's that's the that's the woman's favorite. That's hard. That Don. That Don. I know. All right. Let's make a cheers. Cheers. Success. Success. And what else? The other two S's. Oh. Desi, you fucking blow me. Go over there and sit down. <laughs> Let's cheer to the three S's. Three S's. Which are? Submissive, mm -hmm. sexy, mm -hmm. and strong. Because ain't nothing more sexy on a woman than her being submissive, sexy, okay. and strong. Okay. Cheers to that. Whew. That was good. All right. And you straight face right now, like a real G. Okay, so maybe you really do drink Henny. I really right? do. Look, one thing about Passion, I don't cap. I be about all my shit. Passion don't cap? At all. All right, we're going to find out because I got a few questions about this Henny joint because I take Henny personal. Henny is, that's my shit. Okay, <clears throat> first off, let me ask you. You kind of broke it down in the song, but I want to hear it from you right here, right now on okay. the podcast. When Henny's in a system for Passion, mm -hmm. what does it do? Get me lit, be down for whatever. As in, 
oh, it have a good time. I mean, I'm going to have a good time regardless, but like that Henny just puts that oomph in it. Like, okay, we about to get lit for real. It does. We about to get lit for real. Well, according to your song, one thing that Henny does for you. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> You said when the Henny's in the system and you're dealing with your dude, head is a must. Head is a must. Emphasis on a must. So you're saying you wouldn't have sex with a dude if he don't give you head? No. Seriously? I'm serious. Why is that? Because I got to, okay, first of all, I got to, like, if the head is good, then I'm, well, no, I'm not going to say that because sometimes the head be good and the dick be whack. But I feel like I'd be okay with just head, uh -huh. honestly. Oh, so you would so you would be you would prefer good head and bad dick over bad head and good dick? Exactly. Okay. I would. Hey. Every woman is different. Okay, yeah. continue. Honestly. Um, but yeah, like that's just a must. Wait, so you've never had sex with a dude without him giving you head? No. Never. So what if you see him, he's attractive, you're like, damn, I'm gonna fuck him. He even whips out on you. Mm -hmm. But he says, I don't know, I just don't give head. You wanna rock with it? What if I'm, his finger his, his his finger game is crazy? I don't I don't like getting fingered. Really? Yeah, I really don't like that. Wait, I'm not I'm not talking about getting in. I'm talking about playing and rubbing with the clit. You don't like that? Rubbing with the clit, yeah, but I just don't like going the, inside. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't really like that. I think that was a young man's game. Yeah. I think like as we grew older, we realized that women more so like the you know the urker, urker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever um, told a guy that you would fuck him if he gave you head, but you spun him after he gave you head and you didn't fuck him? Hell fucking yeah. Oh, my yes. God, yes. bro. You're the worst kind. Yes, I bro. have. I definitely have. Why? Why did you do that? Because, like, I had already seen that his dick was small anyway. Like, so I'm Before like, or wow. after the head? Huh? Before or after Before, the head? because he was sending dick pics. So I'm like, yeah, you didn't already turn me off with that. Like, Did you ask for him? No, he was just sending it. And you didn't like that, right? No. Okay. He was like, can yeah, I, I'm about to dick you down. Can I say something right quick? Yeah. Because the vast majority of my audience are men. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to these grown-ass men. I've said it once with Brooklyn Marie, but I got to say it again, I guess. For you niggas sending unsolicited dick pics, <laughs> I don't like... <laughs> Do y'all not realize how much of her imagination you're ruining when you're doing that? Right, exactly. You, you want her to a mad. You want her. To, you want her to think of fucking you before y'all even get there. Like you're ruining it for yourself. There we go. You you take over. Fuck what you're I'm saying. You're definitely you ruining it for yourself. Like at least give me that imagination. Like let me. Be interested. Like, but once you already send a pic and I'm already dissatisfied, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Then if I pull up or if you pull up, then the head game is whack. Nigga, you're blocked. On top I'm, of on top of it, on top of the piece being small. Right, exact. I'm <laughs> yeah, it's a done deal. <laughs> you're blocked. <laughs> well, let me ask you something. Since we talked about this earlier, is that considered a body? The way y'all broke it down, I, I guess it is considered a body. I guess it is. But I'm, I'm going to have to be the one to be like, I don't count that. You don't count it? I don't count it. Like I said, I every, every it. woman has bodies that they don't count. So if a dude pulls up with a little piece and his head is whack, y'all not counting it. I'm not counting it. But deep down inside, y'all know deep, it counts. Yeah, yeah, deep down inside, I know it counts. Um, how many times have you done that where you've been like, if you give me head, I'll fuck? You gave it. So wait, first off, so the dude that gave you head, he didn't fuck after. Like, how does that conversation happen after he gave you head? Was the head good, at least? The head was good. Like, phenomenal. You came off it? Yes. Okay, so you came off the head. So yes. at least you got something out of it. I did. All right. So how does that conversation have happen afterwards where he's like, Standing up, you feel me? He probably hard. He probably putting the condom on. Like, how does that conversation happen? Where you like, eh? Ooh, I gotta go. <laughs> Grandma's calling. Gotta go. Make up something. I don't know shit. I'm just about to go. Cause well, what did you do with that specific dude? Unless you've done this with multiple times. No, I had did it with that one time. That one time I had did it, mm -hmm. and I was just like, yeah, I gotta go. Mm. <laughs> I gotta go. I didn't even give an explanation. I just said I gotta go. Of course he was mad. He was feeling some type of way, but... Yeah. Did he say anything? Yeah, he texted me. What'd he say? And he was like, what happened? Like, yeah. what'd I do? Yeah. I said... Oh. What'd you say? I said, I just had to go. 
Hey, and asked where. He said we, he, uh-huh. probably, he probably got he, the message at that point. Right? He d- yeah, and then it's like the conversations was just it went downhill. Mm, so that was the last time y'all really kicked it. Yeah. <sighs> And all this came from him sending an unsolicited dick pic. Yeah. Yo, I'm I'm trying to tell y'all, like, I I stop doing that shit, fellas. <laughs> I've never sent a dick pic in my life. Never? Never. Even when okay. I was in a relationship, I've never done that. But I was I was that was like seven years ago. Now if I was in a relationship, I, I mean I might send a come shot, but yeah. I've like on just on some random regular shit a chick I'm dealing with, I've never sent a dick pic. I've never seen like the point of it right like especially if it's something that i'm trying to hit or have mm-hmm. hit before if i say if it's a chick i'm trying to hit the dick pic again i know that it ruins the imagination i know that like two to five minutes within y'all meeting a nigga y'all mm-hmm. know whether or not y'all want to fuck him right and it's prolonged off of talking texting going out whatever it may be so i know it's prolonged and i know that the longer it's prolonged mm-hmm. that thing marinating yeah because y'all imagining so right. I'm not saying I'm not a, like, if I send a dick pic, it wouldn't ruin anything. Like, cause I mean, I'm not bragging or nothing, but I'm not, right. I'm blessed. You feel me? I'm yeah. not, I'm not King Kong, but I'm blessed. You feel me? So yeah. like, but even still, I don't want her to know nothing. I won't even talk about sex. Cause I want that thing to build up and build up and build up. Okay. So fellas, please. I, l- l- <laughs> listen, day by day is literally, I wrote down on my notes. What is day by day for to help out my fellow brothers? Please take heed to what the fuck I'm saying. From the horse's mouth and not even just me passion right this is a woman telling y'all what it is stop doing that weird ass shit because i feel like when you over hype it it's it's the worst and that's happened before like just don't over hype what what Let happens me. when you under hype it when you don't even talk about it when you when it's under hype mm-hmm. when it's not talked about it's mm-hmm. the best mm. why because like you're you don't know what you're walking into. Mm. You don't know what you're walking into. The element of surprise. Exactly. And I like that. I like a surprise. Yeah. You know? So I'm trying to tell y'all. <clears throat> All right. So obviously you're a big fan of head. You prefer it more so than the actual pipe. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something. So we're in the new age now where eating ass is that's just <laughs> that's norm. That's not even the minority. Right. That's the majority yeah. at this point. Like a little like I hear my I hear my OGs talk about how back in the day like dudes used to lie about giving head, lo- let alone eating ass. Right. So like now like when OGs hear about like everybody eating ass, like what the fuck type time are y'all on? It is what it is. Let me ask you: Have you ever had a guy went straight to the ass when giving you head and eating your ass? Yes, I have. I, I, and honestly, I feel like that dude actually feel good. Yeah? It do. So you liked it. You I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. Shout out I'm to Lionel. I mean, Larry. <laughs> shout out to Larry. My brother Larry. <laughs> from Larry and Lionel. Shout out to Larry and Lionel. Both of y'all. Shout out to y'all. Okay, so you liked it. Yeah, I did. I liked it. Okay. Why so? It was just good. Mm-hmm. Like, he just knew what he was doing. Like, he ain't my ass and he ain't my pussy. It was good. Yeah. Like... And the dick was good too, like just all of the above. Oh, so it was the whole shebang. Yes. So you enjoyed that whole situation. The whole situation. All right, fellas. Well, so my, my brother Larry, he said he likes to go straight for the ass sometimes. And then I had a who did I have? A Coco. Shout out to Coco and Nice. She says she's thrown off by dudes going straight for the ass. Mm. You said your turn. It's all subjective. It is. Is yeah. it? Is it like with with dudes? We just need friction. Right. You know what I mean? Like like we were talking about earlier, how the girl only got hit in her butt. She got a coochie butt. If a girl got a coochie butt and we hit her in the butt, <laughs> that'll do it. Yeah. And if a coochie good, that'll do it. If a head good, that'll do it. We need moisture and friction from a woman to get it off. A woman is subjective. Some of y'all like this, some of y'all like that, some of y'all like don't, some of y'all, whatever it may be. Right. My next question for you on that same subject. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ate ass? No, I haven't. That's on my bucket list, though. It is? It is. <laughs> What does it take That's for one bucket. to get his cakes ate by passion? It's just a vibe thing. Like, <laughs> it's just, like. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Don't mind me laughing. <laughs> that wasn't mature. Go ahead. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. But yeah, it's just based off the vibe. Like, I'm not just going to have my mind, oh, yeah, I'm going to eat his ass. Or huh. shit, even a girl, oh, I'm going to eat her ass. No. You like girls too? Like, I do. Oh. I do. Okay, that's a whole nother chamber on life. Yeah, Man, I like no girls. Idea, Damn. I I'm love them, on actually. my pen. My research will usually tell me if that's a... Okay, so... That, that's kind of a secret, though. So, which do you think you would eat the ass of first? A man or a woman? Um, Probably a woman. Why so? Because, like... I've, 
Not all, but most women are more cleaner. And y'all yeah. get your ass waxed. Yeah, we get our asses waxed. Men don't. Men don't exactly. So who wants to have all that hair? No, I don't. Want I mean, that. I don't. Y'all shit. The way y'all be going back there, it don't look. Y'all be it be stopping y'all from nothing. Y'all be going back there, whether it's a carpet or not. Y'all be in that shit. And I'm not speaking off experience. Don't get me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it neither. Right, right. I got homeboys that got down and that still get down. So you wouldn't. JD, what you? How you living, JD? <laughs> <laughs> Answer my question, Dave. Would you? What was eat, your question? Would you eat ass? Do have I eat you? A, have you? What? Have my cakes yeah, ate? Yeah. I've never had my cakes ate. <laughs> but have? Would you eat ass? Oh, I've ate ass before. Oh, you have. Okay. I've but, ate two asses my whole life. Okay. I gotta really fuck with you, and you gotta be personal, right? Right. For me to eat your ass, sure. I feel like, that. I don't. I'm not a habitual ass eater. Right. I've ate two asses my whole life. And they both was clean. Right. Fabuloso. But um, yeah. would I have my cakes ate? Yeah, would you? If it was somebody you was really fucking with, like, y'all got the deepest connection, can you we, feeling her, she... Nah. Can we, you, can we take a shot of Henny? <laughs> <laughs> we can take a shot, but she's still going to answer that question. You're still going to answer it. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I just don't see the point in it. Why like, not? If I did it, it would be for the culture. It wouldn't even be for my self pleasure. Like it would be like, okay, this is in. Like let's see what the hype is about. It wouldn't be on some. Oh, I want to do it. Does that make sense? <laughs> it makes sense. But so is it true that like y'all asses are y'all G spots? I don't fucking know. They say it is. But but the thing is, I nut off of. I nut from my dick. Right. So how is that not my G spot? You true. get what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, okay, I guess. They say the G spot in the ass is more. I don't know. I don't. I, I can't speak off of experience. I don't know. I'm. I, it is the shit. Yeah. When I'm in some pussy, and I nut, especially if I stay in it, <laughs> that rarely happens. I don't have no kids. By default. Oh, no, nah, I don't have. A, take it out. Take it out. Editor, take that out. Just the, what I just whispered, to editor. Say, I don't have no kids. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, like. That's the shit. Yeah. When you in some yada mean and you let go of the yada mean, that's the yada mean ski. Like I don't, I don't need my ass to be involved because that already feels amazing as it is. I don't. I, like, how will I get my ass ate? I'm not putting my legs in the air. I'm not bending over. You want to know something crazy? One of my coworkers told me this nigga. He's an habitual. Get his ass ate. This nigga said he gets in a three point stance like a off. <laughs> Mm. Like he said, he got the three point stance like an offensive lineman, and, and Shorty was behind him eating his ass. Would you do that? If if your dude got a three point stance, he'd be like, "All right, go ahead, go for it." <laughs> hey, hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> he got a three point stance, and he told you, "Go for it." Would you eat his ass then? If it's in a moment, right? That's if what you said. A, if yeah, it's if it's moment, in a moment. If it's in a moment. If it's in a moment. Nah. <laughs> That's he. We already know you a freak. We already yeah. know you a dyke. All that shit. We, we already you know ain't that. Gotta bark. We already know what you about, shorty. I done seen you hump girls and boys. I done seen you, you lick ass. Toes. Yeah, suck toes. I done seen you lick dogs' ass, ball sacks, all that freak ass dog. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that. Yeah, I, I, I hope that answers your question. All right. <clears throat> so, well, since that's the last question I had uh, regarding Henny, can mm -hmm. we take a small half a shot? Yes. Since that's the ending to Henny, yep. you're a Henny girl, right? Henny girl. All right, we're going to see. When the Henny's in the system, ain't no telling what the fuck or what a diss on. I'm a pimp by blood, not relation. Y'all be chasing, I replace them, huh? I got a question off that, actually. Okay. So, based off of that lyric, he said, I don't chase them, I replace them. Let's talk about the chase with mm -hmm. women. Do you like, what do you like more, the chase or a dude flipping it on you and you're not even realizing it to where you're doing the chasing? Which is more effective? Mm, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I do like a chase. I you, do. You like a chase or the chase? You like two chase. What did you yeah, say? Yeah, sometimes I like two chase. Two chase? Yeah. Come on now. I definitely, it just depends though. It just depends. What does it depend on? It just depends. Like, all right. Talk to me. I just feel like if if you, I don't know. Talk to me, passion. I talk back. <laughs> I 
I'm just saying, like, it just depends. If you, if you the dude that like, okay, because you know how some dudes they don't like to text back. They, I don't know, they just anti so. I like antisocial type of guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. So I feel like that would make me just wanna. Be like, what the be, fuck are you doing? Right, like I like that. It drives your curiosity. It do, exactly, Jay. Exactly. I know it. <clears throat> I know it. I'm not gonna lie. I do have some friends that are hoes. I do. <laughs> Every woman does. I do. Every but... woman does. Let me ask you this. You say okay. you have friends that are hoes. So would you be mad if you were dealing with a dude and he knows that your friends are hoes and he's like kind of like, yo, like you mean to tell me you hang out with hoes and you're not a hoe? Birds of a feather flock together. Uh, I've heard that so many times, okay. but that's not true. It's not? That's not true. Really? I'm so serious. That uh -huh. is not true. Talk to me. Because it's like, okay, just because they be doing what they doing, that don't that don't mean that, you know, I'm associating myself with that. I mean, I'm gonna have their backs no matter what. Like if they nigga call me talking about some oh, where my girl at I'm gonna have they back. Just like yeah. you would have your niggas back. Come it's on. It's not safe out here, yo. <laughs> it's not safe. Stay dangerous, just, fellas. It's I'm not safe. Saying. Okay. Um, so you're saying you're gonna have a back. Yes. I'm not it's even not gonna lie. I just here, recently you know? had to do that. Like, okay. What happened? All right. So my homegirl, she had went out of town with uh -huh. this other nigga, whatever. He she went to Florida. And he, she was and she was talking to another dude. Yeah. Okay. They went on a little vacation. Okay, vacation. So, um, all right, she tried to I don't even know if I wanna tell no, Go I'm ahead. Tell Won't it. nobody it. know what we talk about. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. So, okay, so she leaves her phone because she told him that she was going to be at my house for the weekend. Okay. So she leaves her phone at my house because he had her location. <laughs> the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> the old banana in the tailpipe. Yes. Yeah, so what was she texting off of her? Uh, laptop? iPad? Or yeah, like, phone? no, she has another phone. Yeah, Jesus. he didn't know she had oh another phone, though. Oh, my God. So he, call, he calling her, to, I mean, blowing her up. So then, all of a sudden, he DMs me. I call, hurry up and call her like, yo, he calling. He 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 DMing me. So then, she like, just stall it out, just stall him out. I'm like, all right. So he ended up calling me. Yeah. Where my girl at? Oh, she in the bathroom right now. Take her the phone. Why would I take her the phone? She's taking the shit. Like, come on now. I'll tell her to call you when she get out. All right. <laughs> Look. Okay, so then what happened? Because he had to, she had to call him back at some point. What happened after that? After that, it just wasn't no call back. I'm sorry. Just wasn't no call back. I said she was asleep. I said she was asleep. He said, okay, FaceTime me. I said, why am I going to FaceTime? Why am I doing all of that? Yeah. I'm not your girl. Your, yeah. your girl say, your girl is asleep. She's asleep. Leave, let it be. And it's just like. Gentlemen, stay dangerous. Y'all be doing the same type of stuff, Stay though. Y'all be doing the same type of stuff. No, we're not. But that, worse. We're not that sneaky. We're blunt. Not or we're really. just ignoring. We're either blunt or just ignoring. We're not going through all that. Okay, let's let's flip reverse. Okay, so say my man has his side piece out on a side trip or out of town trip. Okay, boom. And his main joint is blowing up his phone at my house because I have the location on. Or she has the location on and it's my, my house. Cool. So then she DMs me and hits my phone, talking about some where my man at. I'll be like, he's taking a shit. She'll say, bring him a phone. I'll be damned if I bring a grown man a phone while he's taking a shit. Cool. Call me. Or, okay, where's he at? He's asleep. FaceTime me. I'm just ignore it. Yeah. I ain't back. I'm just ignore it. You yeah. ain't my girl. Yeah, exactly. I'm just ignored. Right. So we're so. more ignore some than actually responding and coming up with these lies and shit. Okay, so did he leave, did he leave it at that? He left it at that, but when she came back, whole another story. He got in that ass. He got in that ass. He got in that ass. Did he find out? He didn't find out right away. But he, he, he found out, though. He did the research. He did. But the whole time... He said, the, hell no, I got to do my research on that. The whole time, <laughs> the nigga research. was still, you know... He was doing what he was doing on the side. Who? Cuz? The main yeah, joint? Right, yeah. So it's like, all right. Okay, so can you, could you even be mad at that? Saying like, say like you're dealing with a dude and you have a side dude, mm -hmm. but the main dude is has a side chick as well. Mm -hmm. And everything comes to the table. Like, right. how would you go about that? Would you just be on some, okay, fuck it, it is what it is, let's just keep it pushing on you be like, oh, you cheated, even though I cheated as well, I'm good. What would you do? Honestly, I feel like, because y'all be on some double standard type of shit. 
But for me personally, okay, if you're doing you on the side, yeah. you can't be mad at me if I start entertaining oh boy because how is that even logical? Well, no. It happened before everything came to the table. So what I'm saying is y'all thought, y'all, both of y'all thought y'all were exclusive. Okay. Right? But without the other knowing, y'all had a side piece. But then once one got caught, then both got caught, and it came to the table that both of y'all were dealing with a side piece without y'all knowing. Could you? Mm. Would you be mad at that? I can't be mad at that because I'm doing what I'm doing on the side. You know, I'm just that type of person. Yeah, that that makes sense. Okay, so then what happens after that? <clears throat> Do y'all be like on some? Okay, let's be one some happy, one big happy family. What no, cut her off, and then I'll <laughs> cut him off. If you're not gonna cut her off. No. I'm not going to believe that you're going to cut them off, though, because when I thought you ain't have them in the first place, you still had them. So how am I supposed to believe that you're going to cut them off when you say you're going to cut them off? It's easy. It's not hard. Like I thought it was easy the first time around. <laughs> fuck is you talking about <laughs> no no i'm not yo see that's that's tricky that's tricky no it's really not though it's that's not tricky. tricky at all like tricky. it's not that hard to cut off your side piece if you really want to get get exclusive like you were saying with your main all right but what i'm saying is y'all thought y'all were excuse exclusive from the jump and come to find out y'all wasn't so you're saying you're going to be exclusive the second time around. It's like, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame right. on you. Now nah, you're right about that. You get me? So yeah. like, is it, do yeah. you really go, okay, so say we did it. Okay, boom. I'm telling you, I'm going to cut her off. I ain't dealing with her no more. Are you fully going to believe me? I'm not going to believe you. That's what I'm saying. I ain't going to believe you I'm either. not going to believe you. So what the fuck happened? Should we just be, <laughs> a, should we just be a, should, should we just be a, a quad, quad family at that point? Like No, not no, no. Just. Be just be a be a clean cheater if that's the case. Just be a clean cheater. And I think that's the best way to go about it. Yeah. Don't ask, don't tell, don't break no evidence. Exactly. Yes. Wait, I is that for women too? That's for women too. No, fuck no. See this is not. Nah, nah, I don't want to hear that shit. No. What? You can call it a double standard. No, you better not fuck around on me. No. I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna do my dirt, but I won't bring no babies. I won't bring no disease. I'm gonna wrap up. Yeah, that's gonna be a double standard. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to hear that shit. No, you're yeah, not, you know. but but the thing about us females is that just because we got somebody on the side, I don't necessarily mean we're fucking them. Because I feel like for us females, if we, if I'm gonna just speak on myself, Please if do. I fuck somebody else, my feelings is involved. Like that means we really have like a connection. So the feelings aren't involved when you're just communicating with right. Them? No, I really? mean it, it, it maybe just a little bit, but it's not like to the point where okay, yeah, we gonna fuck. Like no. So what? What call? What does it take for that threshold to cross over to where you want to be sexually involved with them? Like we really have to have like a deep connection, mm. like real deep. Really. So I mean, females always gonna have options. Always. always right just I, like y'all gonna always have options. no no no, no. day come on no, come no. on a man i want to say always men sometimes have options women always because it's a hundred dudes in y'all dms no it's at least 10 to 15 dudes in y'all dms every day at least 10 to 15 okay with men i mean if a woman shoots her shot at us it happens cool mm -hmm. but not as often. And it's more so in person. On IG too, sometimes, yeah, but women, y'all feel us. Y'all feel our presence. Mm -hmm. So like if I'm going to the stores, I'm going about, and a woman sees me, boom, she's going to shoot her shot with her eyes more so than in a DM. Okay. But I just say that to say y'all have way more opportunity. Like it's 10, say 10 to 15 dudes a day as far as y'all in a DM, maybe mm -hmm. one or two for us as far as women. But um, one to two, I don't believe that. Shooting their shot. Yeah, I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that. My voice got high as fuck. <laughs> yeah, one to two, you know what I mean? Because it's not, it's not, it's really, because you won't believe that because you see so many dudes in yours that you think that's universal. It's really not. It's a few, depending on the dude. Most dudes, honestly, don't experience that, where they have women shooting their shot on Instagram, on TikTok. Most dudes don't experience that. I've experienced it. I'm not saying I'm no Chris Brown or nothing, but I've experienced it. Like it happens. Cool. Yeah, it happens. But it's not 10 to 15 a day. On the average, how many dudes would you say slide in your DM every day? On average. Ballpark. I'm not going to. I'll say about 10 to 15. 10 to 15. I'll say about 10 to 15. Okay. With a dude daily? One. If it's if you if if it's that type of day. I don't believe that because if you're good looking, if you got a lot going for yourself. 
Y'all are prideful and y'all don't like being turned down. Y'all may do a sneaky shot. Y'all will like, they'll like my story. Mm -hmm. Cool. They'll like my story. Mm -hmm. And I know that's pretty much a woman shooting her shot. Right. And it depends on what story I post. Sometimes I go fishing. If I go fishing, I know what I'm doing. Okay, maybe I'll get four to five women that like the story Mm -hmm. and then I can proceed. But if I'm just chilling, if it's just a regular story that has nothing to do with me trying to be sexually appealing, Mm -hmm. maybe one, maybe two. Y'all will just have a regular joint, maybe 10, maybe 15. You <laughs> get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's dudes are more thirsty. And we don't give okay. a fuck about being turned it down. Women, right. y'all hate rejection. Yeah. Do you hate rejection? I've, I've never really gotten rejected, so I can't really. It's because you know that you won't be rejected in that situation. You think so? Have you ever shot your, sh- who, name a celebrity you like. A celebrity I like. Male celebrity you like. Celebrity I like. I say Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang. Yeah. You ever shot your shot at Fredo Bang in the DM? No. Why not? I I just never thought to do that. But you like him, so what what kept you from what kept you from? Right. What kept me from I don't maybe I'll try that. Should I try it? Yeah, try it. Maybe I shouldn't. I'll let you know what happened. My 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 synopsis is that you haven't done it because you think he won't respond. Have you ever held yourself back from trying to go at a dude because you're like, maybe he won't give me the response I like? No, because if I really want something, I'm going to go get it. Okay. What if you don't respond? Then what? If he don't respond, then he missed out. But maybe I'll spin the block again Mm. if if I'm really like... Persistent. (laughs) All right. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the passion. This this is a good conversation. Very good, yeah. This is good for men and women to both pick up. Um, another record I want to speak on, Sugar mm-hmm. Daddy. Mm-hmm. Ah, let's talk oh, about Sugar Daddy, Sugar shall Daddy. We? He my sugar daddy. I'm not a thought. I'm not a pop. Okay. Say that again. Huh? Say say that bar again, please. Sugar Daddy. I ain't a thought. I ain't a pop. Okay. You're saying you're not a thought or a bop. A bop is a... Okay, you're from the DMV. A bop is a <laughs> damn near a thought. So you're yeah. saying, Sugar Daddy, I'm not a thought or a bop. So are you saying that... If you're dealing with or proceeding a sugar daddy, that doesn't count as you being a thought? Yeah. Well, yeah. well, let me not speak for you. Can you break down that bar, please? Okay. Sugar daddy, I ain't a thought, I ain't a bop. Mm-hmm. Just because you're labeled as a sugar baby. Mm-hmm. A sugar baby is a younger girl mm-hmm. who has relations, don't mm-hmm. necessarily got to be sexual, with an older man. Mm-hmm. He caters to her. Mm-hmm. She caters to him. Mm-hmm. Don't have to be sexual at all. Second time you said that. All right. <laughs> just saying. Just uh, saying. Yeah. <laughs> Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. And they just grow into a... I'm not going to say a relationship because it don't even really be a relationship like that. But what is it? I, okay. I feel like it's more of a like, okay... They're older, a little mm-hmm. older, you know. They be needing friends, mm-hmm. people to talk to, vent mm-hmm. to. And in return, because you're venting to me, talking to me, we're building this bond, obviously, because you're telling me, you know, shit yeah. is going on in your life. Yeah. In return, mm-hmm. you're giving me money. Or it don't even have to really be money, like, all the time. Just trips, gifts, you know? I had a um, female friend. So when her birthday trip got paid for by a sugar daddy. See? That she um, so have you ever had a sugar daddy? I have. I was gonna say, why wouldn't you make a song called Sugar Daddy if you had a sugar? How many I... sugar daddies have you had? All right, I was dealing with this one okay. for since I, from 17 up until like I say about I say about 20. When you were 17, how old was he? He was in his 30s. 30s? He was like 30. How old was he? Like 38? Okay, so 39. by the time you were 20, he was in his 40s. He was, yeah. Okay, that's a sugar daddy. Mm-hmm. How was that? Very different. How so? Because, okay. All right, you ready? I'm strapped in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I was dealing with dude. Mind you, I was 17. He was in his 30s. He, was, he had his family, married, kids, or whatever. But he was undercover. As he in, was gay. He liked men. Okay, so 
he was had a he had a family, a wife. I'm assuming a wife and a family, mm-hmm. and he was dealing with you, a mm-hmm. woman. Mm-hmm. But yet he was gay. He was gay. Okay, please proceed. Okay, so I was just the the really good best friend. I'm gonna say best friend. We was we was like really good best friends. Did you ever give him sugar? I never gave him sugar, but what he liked for me to do was get butt ass naked, have on long press on nails, and just scratch on his back. You freak ass niggas just just like that. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's no, I'm what like, I, don't, I don't kink shame. I don't kink shame. I don't kink shame. Okay, proceed. Yeah, so. That's that's what turned him on. I mean, mind you, he was honestly he was just like, yeah. I mean, you're a very attractive girl, but I'm just not into females. I'm like, well, you're married, so how does that work? He was like, just to give you know that image. Wait, I'm curious on how that does work because you'll see dudes that are in marriages, Mm -hmm. but they're down low, right? But marriages with kids, which means you had to get hard off of being attracted to your lady, your wife, yeah, and fucked her and nutted in her. So, like, how does that work? Honestly. I'm curious, you know? That's a good question. That's a good question. I got to get a gay dude on here and ask him how that works. Like, how how you you claim you're gay. You You were more than likely gay before you met your wife, but yet you weren't attracted to your wife enough to fuck her and nut in her. So your dick was hard while y'all was fucking her, and you nutted in her. So you does that make you bi instead of gay? Like, is was he did he did he say he was gay or bi? No, he said he was gay. Okay. He said he was gay. I'm curious on how that works. But okay, so do you think right? This is a good question. Do you think that once a guy have sex with another guy, is mm-hmm. it co- because I've heard, I've had conversations with plenty of different straight men and gay mm-hmm. men? I've I've had different answers, but a lot of the answers was whether or not a guy is you know deals with women. If he deals with a man, he's still considered gay. It's yeah. no bisexual. That's how I see it. That's I how mean, you the, see it. The bisexual thing, because like, okay, boom, perfect example. Your sugar daddy. Mm-hmm. He was dealing with a woman, mm-hmm. but he was also with dealing with a man. Mm-hmm. What did he tell you he was? He said he was gay. Boom. He that's said he was gay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> it. that's coming from the horse's mouth. Right, exactly. But, and then heterosexual men, we say the same thing. We're like, yo, if a dude deal with a guy, he's gay. Right. And then people be like, oh, he can deal with a woman too. That makes him bow. I, I don't see it as that. And your, your sugar daddy, that's the horse's mouth. He said himself. Yes. He considered himself gay. Yes. So boom, there it is. If you ask me, that's that's what that is. I agree. So, so that's all you did was scratch his back with nails? That's all I did. Hmm. And you know, sometimes he would. I'm not gonna lie. He would show me videos of him like having sex. Like we would be on Facetime. I'm not even gonna lie. We would be. So y'all were really like good friends. We were great friends. Like he really just came to me to vent, you know. And yeah, we was really good friends. Okay, you know. So so he didn't have that factor. So so he was he was a man dealing with both sides, Mm -hmm. and he didn't have that factor that he could talk to about dealing with both sides. It sounds like it sounds like he could talk to his dude about dealing with his. Wife, maybe, or dealing with, I don't know, or his wife just dealing with her. Mm-hmm. He didn't have no one he could talk to about dealing with both sides. Right. And that was that's where you came in. Yes. That sounded like, that sounds like an easy job to me. On Very your, easy. On your aspect. Very. He Very. Broke, he broke you off nice. He socked it to your pocket oh like a rocket. Oh, my gosh. I, I was able to quit my job. You lying. I'm so serious. What? Yes. Let me give oh you my a shirt tomorrow and stop playing. <laughs> this is my official uh, application submission. For all sugar mamas <laughs> between the ages of 40 and 55, 60 if you really that smoke. Um, I work out, so I really be able to put that shit on you. But I don't brag on my shit, so I'm going to just leave it at that. <laughs> you know, um, I'm healthy. You know, I don't ask for much. If you could just, you know, look out with a brother rent. You know what I mean? That's all I ask for. So... You know, any sugar mamas that like what they see, you know, fuck with your boy. You know, day by day on IG, slide in a DM. Or if you're really old school, my email is daybydaypodcast at gmail.com. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, but I'm looking for you if you're looking for me and if we, you know, really equate like how we supposed to. Was that the only sugar daddy you had? Long term, yeah. Because I'm not going to lie, I've came across some guys where it's like, 
they was looking for some sugar, like just off the rip. Well, I mean, sugar daddy. No, but it's no. I don't agree with that though. Why don't you? Because it's in the, it's in, it's in the title, passion, it's, sugar daddy, it's sugar in, yeah, it's, baby. It's, it's in the title. It is. See, let me say this. This is where some of these sugar babies are getting the game fucked up. Y'all think y'all think these sugar daddies just want to talk to to women. And that be it. Yes, yeah, some do. Some aren't married. Some don't have kids or their kids left them for dead and they need someone to talk to. Cool. But some sugar daddies want that ass. And I understand that. I'm not saying say no. I mean, if that's if that's someone that you attracted to, mm-hmm. and okay, go mm-hmm. for it. Mm-hmm. But if we just having a conversation and the first thing that you say is, okay, yeah, let's, you know, get a room and we're going to have sex and then I'm going to give you some money. That's no, that's prostitution. That's prostitution. So yeah, some of them got the game fucked up. Shout out to my hookers and my whores out there. <laughs> Shout they, out to y'all. They, y'all they doing lot, y'all thing. They they a lot of hoes. Yeah, that's prostitution. Um, that's prostitution. Okay, so you so what if y'all go on a first date and then he brings it up? Does that make a difference? I say bring it up around the second or third date, not the first. Like we're just now trying to get to know each other. Sounds like a relationship. No, not necessarily. What's the difference? If we're building a friendship, because that's really what a sugar baby and sugar daddy is. Like, y'all y'all are building a friendship. Yeah. Y'all are trusting each other. Mm-hmm. So it's like, we're getting to know each other. So the first thing shouldn't be fucking on your mind. Have you ever gave a sugar daddy sugar? No. No? I haven't. So what happens? what happened when he brought up that he wanted sugar? Well, he didn't want sugar because... He was into guys. Well, you said that was long term. I, I was assuming that you have you had short term sugar daddies. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. short term. Yeah, short term that wanted to fuck. Yeah, and, and I'm I saying, was just like, so no. once they asked for the sugar, he was like, no. That's I was it. like, no. Okay. And then they tried to like you know get their way back in. Okay, well, well I'll do what this. You have, I'll do that. Maybe if he took it slow. <sighs> like I said, like when I have sex with somebody, it's like we really gotta have that connection. Well, we you do. You can have a connection with a sugar daddy. We, and, and I'm, you're going, right. I'm going off of your record, sugar right. daddy. You're right. And you even brought up that like his daughter is hating on you. Oh yeah. Have you ever been in a situation where a sugar daddy's daughter like saw you or met you and knew what it was? Oh, I'm I most definitely did. Like, bitch, I could be your stepmother. Calm down. Really? Sit down. But then was we she, were around the same age too. Was, was she older or younger than you? <laughs> she was younger. Oh shit. By like a couple months. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah, I was say. <laughs> How was that? Was was that awkward or what? That it wasn't awkward, but it's like he brought you around. The sugar daddy brought you around. He, yeah. And you met the daughter. How did that go? At first, of course you're gonna give me dirty looks. Like yeah, yeah. you you look my age. Like, bitch, like, you my age. What the fuck? What are you doing with my father? <laughs> bitch. Mind your business. <laughs> okay. Mind your business. I mean, but she knows what it is. But she yeah, knows, yeah, but yeah. like you ain't gotta know all that. Right, right, right. And that was it, it was just cool after that? That was it, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. We had boundaries set, so. So you had a sugar daddy. His son was the same age as you. Son? He introduces you to the son. And you're like, wow. The sugar daddy's the old bull. But his son is the young stallion. <laughs> and you're more attracted to the son than the daddy. How would you proceed? Yes, wow. indeed. Wow. Wow. That's a great question, actually. Thank you. That's hard, though. Because it's like, damn, you don't want to run through the family. You, you ain't give the sugar daddy sugar. But, oh, but you ain't give... Oh, okay. You ain't give him sugar yet. Okay, okay. But okay. you've been entertaining him. Okay. So would it be bad if, you know... I, I'm, I should be asking you that. I don't know. <laughs> That's for you to answer. I mean, if the vibe is there with the son... You know, we probably going to have a lot more in common. We're around the same age. You know, of course, we have the same interests of, you know, somewhat. So. How do you break that to the dad, though? Like He doesn't have to know. Like, uh, we can keep shit discreet. Incognito? Exactly. Incognito. Okay. Now, other side of the spectrum. You ready? I'm ready. You gave the sugar daddy sugar. Oh. <laughs> but you want the young bull. I'm just not going to do that. You wouldn't? I wouldn't do it. I don't think so. It's eating you alive, passion. It's like, fuck, I want his son. Because the sugar was cool. It was like a little sprinkle of Splenda. But now that the son got a full package of Domino brown sugar waiting for me. (laughs) 
maybe. Would you? I mean, listen, we only human. We only maybe. live one life. Like, right, you're right, you right, you're right. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, if the curiosity get the best of you, it is what it is. <laughs> we only live one exactly. life. Exactly. You're right, you're oh, right. Shit. Man, we'll go so for it, depending on it. All right, well, listen, Passion. Um, shout out to Sugar Daddy, Henny, Jeep Girl, uh, three records right now. First of all, where can they find these records? Because like I said, I was listening to all three for a minute mm -hmm. earlier today. So where can they find these records at? And where can they find you at? Break down all those. digital platforms, you can find all three of those songs. Um, I also do want to give a big shout out to 102 Jams, Fat G's, Big Mo, Special K. Be spending my records nice. every week, there every we motherfucking week. There we go. So shout out to y'all. Um, shout out to the Jeep community because, you know, we doing our thing, you know. Um, but yeah, so y'all can definitely find me on Instagram at passion with three S's three. underscore. You can find me on TikTok, passion with three S's. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just Facebook and TikTok. I mean, I said Facebook. Just Instagram and TikTok. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> You're fucking weird. Why? Like, every time you see me or someone else, you got to lick us. <laughs> like, it's cool to just see us and keep it at that. You don't have to lick us, Desi. I was talking to Desi. I was talking to Passion for those that are listening. All right, so everywhere is Passion with three S's. Um, again, this this was dope. We definitely got to spend a block. Definitely. I feel like we got some great conversation. I felt like it was just, you know, it, it was it was held to a small circle, but I wanted to be that. Mm -hmm. You know, it was held to Henny relationships and sugar daddies. Yeah. Next time around, who knows what it might be. Right. It might be this. It might be that. It might be fucking in space. Who knows? Because you never know what Passion, like, you never know down what for whatever. Are you a mystery? I'm very much so a mystery. Mm, you're mysterious. Yeah. yeah. That drives us crazy. Definitely. Maybe that's why you have the spell that you do on men, because mystery drives <laughs> us crazy. If it's if it's if it's a joint that we already know what she's about and what she she's already figured out, then it's it's like It's boring. I won't like, even go down know. that road. It's predictable. I, yeah. You know? I, I, if my like if people already know what it is with you when they put it out there, I don't need to go down that road. They already know. I already like I already know off of secondhand experience. I don't need to right. go down that road. But if it's a mysterious woman, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. That will that might lead to the chase, like we talked about earlier. But we ain't gonna go down a rabbit hole again. Um, shout out to Passion for pulling up. Shout out to JD behind the scenes for setting this up. Shout out to Desi for stinking it up. She always stinks up my crib. So shout out to Desi for that. Uh, but most importantly, shout out to the day party. Shout out to y'all for tuning in, whether you're watching and listening on your respective podcast platform, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. Google Podcasts got shut down, so we're not there no more. But wherever you find your most liked podcast, Day by Day podcast is there. Waiting for you to tune in. If you watched, I just ask that you go ahead and hit subscribe. Like it if you liked it. And if you have something that you want to get off your chest, go ahead and drop a comment. That just helps the algorithm out. Um, but yeah, man, we, we got it in and we're definitely going to spend a block with passion. She's a great vibe. Like I said, at the beginning of the episode, so got to thank you again for pulling up and You're showing welcome. Out. Thank you for having me. Of course. Of course. It was long overdue, but I'm glad we made it happen and we're going to make it happen again. In the, oh in yeah. The, one more thing. Future. Please do. Please, please tap into dinner time. Mm -hmm. Tell that hoe was dinner time. You know what, bitch? You gotta eat. I said no all ten. You won't knock me off my fucking feet. If you ain't spending money, take your broke ass home. Your man won't wish is my pussy had a clone. Yeah, bitch, I'm back. Popping my shit. Yeah, bitch, I'm back. Riding his dig. Money falling from the ceiling ass. Jumping on the sky. Mm -hmm. That's what the <laughs> fuck I'm talking about, passion. Listen, <laughs> I don't bring anybody just up here. You feel me? You got to be a vibe first, but be able to spit that shit second. So shout out to Passion, man. We out this bitch, man. Make sure that y'all subscribe and the whole ordeal. But until next time, make sure that y'all stay blessed, stay sane, and then most importantly, stay safe out here, man. It's crazy in 2024, but we prevailing regardless. We out this bitch. Peace. Good fucking shit. I got to yes, piss. Yes, yes, yes. I got to piss too. Oh my God. <laughs>